Okay, so this is part two. Okay, sorry, I'll be quicker this time. Okay, so we'll do some ultrasound photos. We'll explain the ultrasound. Um, continuing on with symptoms, that's the only symptoms I've expressed, or expressed, the only symptoms I've, I've experienced other than tired, tired all the time. It's normal, I think. And other than that, everything is going great, wonderful, you know, I couldn't have asked for a better pregnancy. Um, last time around, um, I had heartburn from probably this the day after I found out I was pregnant, which was about four weeks, till literally the day I had her. So, but she wasn't a picky eater either. I could eat whatever I wanted. This pregnancy, I'm noticing just, just, just within the last couple days. Um, that I can't stand really too much the smell of beef too much. I can eat it. Now, I can have hamburgers on the grill. I just can't cook anything in the house with beef. It just, just the smell of it is just icky, icky, icky. It doesn't make me sick or anything, it just, it's just icky. So, going back to the ultrasound, the lady was absolutely amazing. She was wonderful. Um, she was worried that she was hurting me. She's like, sorry, a little bit of pressure here. And I said, oh, don't worry about it. This, this is great. Um, at least she was worried about me, right? And um, my friend and I had saw, um, they had a screen up there so I could look back and see. And I was super excited. So she did all her measurements and she said I was eight weeks and four days. So little baby bean is growing and um, a little bit further along, I guess. Um, the heart rate was 175. I was so excited. When she first put the baby on this, like when she first put the probe on, right away there was baby and we saw the heartbeat right away. We, we didn't have to look around at all. And I made sure she looked around the entire uterus to make sure there was only one baby. So yes, we were only having one very healthy baby um, and I couldn't be any more happier so um, I'll show you some pictures and this one I have no idea what this is I just know you can see oh sorry that you can see the the uterus and you can see whatever look the white thing in the middle of the black dot is the baby so I have no idea what it is but I grabbed, but she took the picture anyways. Um, here's the baby. Oh, sorry, I've got some. There, a little bit better. So you can see the baby. Um, sorry, I need a camera guy. This is the baby. And, and the baby seems to be laying on its side. The other thing too I noticed when she put the probe on, the baby was moving around so she couldn't get the measurement like right away, right? Like so she was just bouncing around and moving around and like stretching or whatever. Oops. Um, so the baby was stretching and kicking the arms and legs a little bit. Oh, so cute. It was so adorable. And there's another one. A little bit closer up. Looks like the baby's got a hole in its head, but it doesn't. <laughs> it was perfectly fine. Um, I was getting worried about that too, but as she moved around, you can see it. it's just, it's how little they are and how magnified they are, so. And this was, uh, this was without a full bladder. I drank the water only like 20 minutes before I got there. So yeah, there was no full bladder, but they saw the baby right away. And I asked if they had to do an internal. She goes, no, we got everything here. So, super excited. Um, and I got the ultrasound. And then when we saw the heartbeat, I was like, oh my god, there's the heartbeat. I saw it right away before the technician even said anything. My friend was like, what are you looking at? She's never gotten an ultrasound that early before. So, of course, because she's a godmom, I gave her a few pictures. And I gave the excited auntie a few pictures. And I gave Billy a few pictures, so... And he hasn't really talked to me about it, so we'll see. He'll come around. I know. So this is one excited mommy here. Um, I can't believe, I cannot believe that after 10, 
10 long, exhausting years, I can see if not once, but twice, um, instantly. I mean, I do, I did miscarry, uh, very early with all my other miscarriages, but this is four weeks and four days longer than I've ever gone in my 10 years other than the pregnancy with my daughter, so I'm very hopeful. I know this may sound strange. Um, with my past pregnancies, um, even when I was pregnant with the twins, I guesstimated that I was six weeks and seven weeks. The doctor guesstimated that I was six and seven weeks. I had already lost the babies at three and four weeks. Um, so yeah, my pregnancy had continued but the babies were already gone. Um, and that was the furthest I had gone till that point, or till this point. Um, after that, it was three and a half weeks, almost four weeks. I would get to like maybe four weeks, one day of the pregnancy, but the baby had already passed. So I am four weeks past where the longest pregnancy I'd ever had other than my daughter. And I know this may sound a little bit strange, but my goal was to get to six weeks. My next goal is 12 weeks. My next goal is 20 weeks, and so on, and so on, until a healthy, healthy baby, right? So I know it sounds strange, six weeks. With all the pregnancy, pregnancies that I've had, I shouldn't. So I shouldn't say six weeks, but I'm eight weeks. Um, so, other than that, everything's fine. Um, I'm going to be doing another video after this to thank uh, Ruby, who is not only a friend I've gotten to know over the last uh, six months or so, but she has been amazing with her predictions um, with this pregnancy in the last, and I will explain more. If you are TTCing and you're watching my videos, I highly recommend you watch the next one. If you're not TTCing and you're not really worried about, um, or you don't really buy into the whole psychic prediction or tarot cards or whatever, which I do, um, a lot of times the tarot cards and psychics have been right, depending on the which ones you go to. There is some quacky ones out there that just say they're psychic and they're not. Um, I do believe in mediums as well. I have talked to a few of them. So my next video, if you are TTCing, I highly recommend you watch because you will not, hmm, I don't know what to say. Anyways, I'll just cut this video out because I don't know what else to say. Just watch the next video. Okay. But that's it for my um, pregnancy update for week eight.